This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Oh, drat, I was driving along minding my own business when that vulgar leech hit my beamer with his pickup truck. I fear I've fractured my clavicle. I say, old boy, don't simply put it in the hands of your insurance company to sort it out. Talk with the dedicated road solicitors at the Advocates Law Firm. Pipe down, you old sod. The Advocates will see your case through to the bitter end and won't sleep a fortnight until they have victory in their grasp. Jolly good, old man. Jolly good indeed. You get injured, the Advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com. What's up? It's your boy, the Ted Smith. Thanks for listening to the Men's Room Daily Podcast. Want more? Check out the greatest podcast in all the land, the podcast. Be sure to subscribe and listen to a brand new episode every Tuesday night. 99.9 KISW. We return to the Men's Room with Miles and Thrill. Popular delivery items and trendy liquor. That's all on the way with the head chef and Ted's meat and potatoes. Right after the game known as Big Dummy 206 on Rock. Steve, who is our next contestant, ready to play the big game. Hello, Gabe. Welcome to the hey, men's room. Dummy. Hola. Hola. Gabe, sober, not sober? Uh, completely sober. Completely sober, Gabe. Welcome to the program. All right, uh, our men's room poll, you got to eliminate uh, one method of cooking. Will it be grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled? Uh, I'll probably help the waistline and go with fried. Fried, deep fried. Yeah, I think I'm there with you. I think that's what I'm picking. Yep. I just don't know. Never what, said what it was going to be good. What are you missing? Like French fries? Oh, tater tots all day. I know, but you can bake those. Right, but any time I go to a restaurant, right? So even outside of my home, when I go... Like, look, man, you can go to Red Robin, all right? They yeah. offer you mozzarella sticks. I want the mozzarella. I do not want the baked mozzarella sticks. I know. I want their deep fried mozzarella. But you when I go to the a convention restaurant, oven would work. I it's know where you break out your uh, your air fryer. But I'm at the restaurant, right? And they're like, "Look, dude, we're, oh, we're not going to bake our fries. I just want fries in my burger." Now I can do it. Mm-hmm. Game, I'm with you. Maybe I'll lose some weight. <laughs> One pound for every 3,500 calories. Right? Chips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've gained a pound for every cigarette I haven't smoked so far. What about baked lays? Mm-hmm. Oh, fair enough. There you go. Not as good oh, as the other. Oh, you can't chips, can you? Right. Shoot. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. It's just the less of all evils. <laughs> right, right. What about cheese poofs? Are they <laughs> <laughs> they might be baked. Poofs? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Pretzels, they're, they're baked. I, yeah, yeah pretzels are baked. Which one's yeah. food I have to switch to? I can't do I can't do corn chips anymore. Nope. They're out. The, but the baked chips aren't that bad. They're not. But what if you want, like, a, do they do baked... Uh, uh, Tortilla like, chips? Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. You I, I mean, them. look, I, I Miles, like, that's what me and Thrill are saying. I love the grill, but <laughs> it's the one that gets used, okay. used the less. Right. right. I really think that, that that's the only scenario. I changed my mind by the time it's all said and done. This has happened a lot today. three times today. <laughs> yeah. All right, your question. Color TV game. That was the name of what video game com- uh, company's first console? Color uh, TV. Atari. That was my guess. Color TV game. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll say ColecoVision. No, Nintendo. Oh, Nintendo. Atari and ColecoVision, however, both were in color before that. They were. Okay. All right, your question. Lockjaw is another name for what disease? Oh, uh, tetanus. And oh. Ted doesn't need to worry about that. So that's what that really is. You, if you just get, if your what if your jaw locks up? That means you have tetanus. No, but one of the side effects of tetanus is your jaw will lock up. Hmm. So sometimes I think people have locked jaw because they slept wrong or whatever it is. Right? You always get that like burning metallic sensation yeah. or whatever. And you're like, right. ah, ah, ah. but not tetanus, just a locked up right. jaw. Game is big dummy two zero six four two one round. Actually, you know what, Miles? I'm not a doctor. You might have tetanus. Hmm. Miles has tetanus. Read the word. No, I say the same thing. Are you up to date on your shots? You're like, like I don't know. I'm not a doctor. You've got <laughs> my chart. It just seems. Well, should I know that? You should let us know. Like my dentist reaches out to me. Right? It's time it's for been your six months. Right? They give you all this crap, and you go, "All right, cool." But the doctor, like, oh, if it's that important, let us know. Hello, Miro. Welcome to the men's room. Great googly moogly. Hola, Miro. Sober, not sober. I'm guilty of soberness. All right, Nero. Okay, our men's room poll eliminated one method of cooking. Grilling and barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. 
it's a tough one, but I'll go for the or I'll opt out for the uh, grilled slash barbecue. Mm, all right. Okay. All right. Here is your question. Which of the following was not an original Crayola crayon color? Pink, oh, black, orange, or purple? Uh, pink. Hey, one right. and done. Huh. I was going to guess black. Really? Yeah. Just because, I mean, everything's outlined. Everything's outlined, but, so, but still, that's the one. But that's the one I feel like black should stay in the color. But it's it's the one color already on the paper. So when you but think what about the kids coloring, drawing, that, they're not just coloring things. Well, well my are daughter for coloring wants coloring to create a books. rainbow, regardless of what it does in nature. Those colors are separated by a thick black line, Miles. They are. Oh yes, they are. Well, if you buy the coloring book, they are already separated by the black line, and mm-hmm. then you just color it. That's why I, my guess would be black because it's the outline that's already there on the paper. All that, and you were wrong anyway. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's logical. <laughs> the game is Big Dummy, 206 421 Rock. Hello, Corey. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitchola. Hola. Hola. Corey, sober, not sober? Sober. All right, Corey, welcome to the program. And Big Dummy. Eliminate one method of cooking grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. Deep fried. Deep fried. Right. And if white was an option, I'd say the same thing because the background's white. So it's either got to be one or two colors. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's why as a kid, I always wanted to find the black construction paper. Because mm-hmm. then the yeah. white crayon looked yeah. cool, right? Yeah. What's the last time you used construction paper? Or crayons? <laughs> well, only because of my kids fairly recently, but up until I had kids, probably 35 years. Mm-hmm. You need a glue stick, man. We got glue sticks. We got glue sticks. We got construction paper. Right, you gotta go. We got crayons. We got markers. Now they're old enough to not write on the wall. We should just have an arts and crafts day. Every day. You start making some collages. When you have kids, every day is an arts and crafts day, whether you want it to be or not. My uh, kids would come down all the time and say, Dad, now do, we, do we have any scissors? And I'm like, let's go look at this real quick in the Tupperware here. You have seven pairs of scissors, <laughs> and they're by the pens and pencils that you're using right now. Uh-huh. Yes, you have scissors. We got scissors everywhere. You got every you room in the house, you got them. The tapes in the same Tupperware mm-hmm. container. Oh, oh. Somehow, they don't see anything <laughs> nothing, they're not looking for. Nothing. Right there. It's right there. And pull everything out at once, too. Yeah, please pull out everything to find the one thing. And then you yeah. look down on the floor and you're like, why are my scissors up here? Seriously. I know, exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, I just, you have your own scissors. How did you find mine that I've hidden why, from you and use them? Scissors, for some reason, become yours. They do. Because there's it, one pair like, that you like better than the other It's like ones. a toothbrush. It, they're just yours. <laughs> yes, you can borrow mine. But you better give me back my scissors. Yeah, put it back where you mm-hmm. found it. Scissors. Very important. All right, Corey, here's your question. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, or Slytherin. Which house of Hogwarts did Harry Potter belong to? Slytherin? Oh. He's a Hufflepuff. No. I, n- I never watched or watched the movies or read the books. He would have been a Slytherin, but he chose Gryffindor. That's correct. A hat told him so. Yeah. By the way, Miles, you're being called a crayon racist. Why is that? Because <laughs> oh, no. black wasn't included. Well, I told him. Oh, I'd have said black. Don't well, give me all if, that. If, no, if, he, if, he saw if, if white right was an option, through your crap. Yeah, if white was an option, I'd have said the same thing. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't need to color white. It's the paper's color. Yeah. No, all right. You're a crayon racist. <laughs> Maybe so. He Maybe sees so. your crap. Maybe so. All right, the question. What what highway is the Pacific Coast Highway? 99? No. That would be the George Washington Highway, yes. 101, or believe it or not, 1. Yeah. All right, your question. What vitamin combats rickets? Rickett sounds like a made-up thing that your parents tell you you're going to get if you don't go to bed early. I honestly did not believe that. If you don't get to bed by right. 9.30, you don't forget. You're the, you're the Rickett man. I'll come and you'll get the Ricketts. I don't know. Vitamin C? Mike got it by pointing at his penis. Vitamin D. Yeah. Vitamin D. All, All right. right. What is All the right. Ricketts? It's a you want the D and she'll get it. That's right. Uh, it affects your bones. So they were kids back in the day. Uh would succumb to rickets more than adults, and that's why they started fortifying milk, because the kids are drinking milk. So is calcium section. vitamin D, then, in fact? No, calcium's calcium. Vitamin D is just whatever okay, it is. Right. She I'm wants not even a sure D, what... and she's going to get one. Thank mm-hmm. you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. <laughs> All right, your question. Oh, Dan, that was the next question. Rickets affects what part of the human body? Your bones. There you go. Good job, boy. See, I didn't read ahead, and I didn't realize I had that as my next oh, question. Yeah. 
Just making sure. And do you know why I did it? Because I knew someone was going to ask, what are rickets? Big dummy! Hello, Eric. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, bitches. Hola. Hola. Eric, sober, not sober. Uh, I smoked a little bit of G Hustle. G Hustle. I like the name. All right. Eric, eliminate one method of cooking grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. I'm going to go bold. Bold. Okay. Bold. There goes your beer. There goes your, there goes your coffee. Bold peanut. Pretty sure there goes your. No more bold peanut. There goes your liquor. Uh, by the way, Miles, you're now not being called a racist. You're being called a crassist. A crassist. Yeah. Crassist. Yeah. Crassist. Yes. That's a crayon racist, kids. Miles is a crassist. <laughs> you know what my favorite is? White. I like all the Metallica. I like copper. Bronze, yeah. silver, yeah. gold. If you looked at my Crayola 64 pack, man, those are the shorties. You know, those are the ones that got used. I don't know why. Nothing in nature really has that color, but for some reason, how did you get a 64 in my pack? World, my parents stopped at 16. Like they, oh, the ones with, with, the, the, no, I know the ones. The one I know the one. Man. I wanted these 64 pack. I really did. I pointed out that 80 percent of the kids in the class, and, and it got to the point. Uh, Pam Whelan. Sometimes I have to borrow a color from you because you have 64 of them. I only have 16 and I like that color you have that I don't. She used to give me grief. I, dude, I never got one either. <laughs> really? As a kid, it seemed like a massive deal. I don't know yes. if they thought I'd just spill them. You know or... what it was? I was loved. <laughs> oh. Well, my parents do remember my birthday. Ah, all right. <laughs> yeah. I left that bullet in the gun. <laughs> I was about to pop it off. I'm glad you went for it. I just know for a fact there's nothing in a coloring book that needs to be bronze, copper, gold, silver, any of that. And I used them all. But I couldn't use my imagination. I had to stop yeah. at 16. Maybe a sword. I don't know. And then my kids got the 64 packs. Well, well sure. you guys don't know how good you have it. Well, the next generation gets it better. Now, didn't they go up to, I want to say they did a 128 box at some point? I'm pretty sure I still have a 64 pack in my home for when my kids were younger. Mm -hmm. I will have mine forever. I, they'll it's just the never bed. go away. It's under the bed. All right, here's your question. Which U.S. president said, quote, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? Gorbachev, <clears throat> was that the first H.W. Bush? No, no, he was vice Ron, president. Ronald Reagan. Yep, Ronald Reagan. For twelve ninety nine, you can get the Crayola fifty two hundred thirty Ultimate one hundred and fifty two assorted crayon pack. See, yeah, might, some that, of the colors they that have might, that, that might, we've never that heard might of. be overkill. That what? might that might be looking at the swabs at the Home Depot when you're thinking about painting a room. Right, this is too much. God. It's not that they have too many swabs; it's that there are eighteen colors. Well, everyone's got like three or four different, right? And it also has a sharpener that actually comes loose in the see. box. Oh, oh. And they have upgraded oh, their game. Yeah. Crayola's putting they, in the work. They also need those paint swabs that uh, actually look like what happens when you put that paint on the wall. Oh, those don't exist. No, they, they really they don't. Really don't. You're like, this did not look like <laughs> it looked like in the Home Depot. <laughs> now that I've painted my entire wall. I can't believe this thing is so dark. <laughs> right. All right, here's your question. Comes with an eraser. That's what they need. Yeah. The crayon eraser. The paintbrush <laughs> eraser. What is the sixth planet from the sun? Six. Mm -hmm. Is that Uranus? It is not my anus. Yeah, hold on. Hold on, Miles. Saturn. Yes. All right. It is Saturn. Is there an easy way to oh, remember okay. that? I just I remember just from childhood. Mercury. <laughs> Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. But can you do it backwards Saturn. from Pluto? No, you cannot. <laughs> Somebody points out uh, Miles had a 64 pack. Sounds like a privilege crisis to me. <laughs> Could not agree more. My one, of those, one of those Crayola crowns is still <laughs> untouched. My parents love me. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it wasn't in there. Couldn't find a job for him. Yeah. Oh, they did love oh, me. <laughs> oh, no. I can get coloring books anytime I want. <laughs> and somebody says, Miles, gold, silver, and copper don't occur in nature. They literally occur in nature as those matters. Not in coloring books. <laughs> Not in coloring books. <laughs> they are elements. Okay, yeah, right. right. I know, but They're even called gold, I know. silver, and what, copper. What in this room is freaking copper? Nothing. <laughs> what, are, what am I coloring a penny? <laughs> well, you could. Sure, there's some wire in here. I'd probably use bronze. Mm -hmm. It's more realistic. <laughs> He yeah. barely uses bronze, though. Barely. That's why I use He'll peach. He'll tolerate <laughs> using bronze. That's why I use peach. I use peach for white people, because it's realistic. <laughs> That's for him showing his tolerance. Well, no, they used to call it peach flesh. Remember that? Yeah. We had, we had peach. And then black people were like, yo, dog. 
<laughs> they used to call that flesh. This, yes. No, no, they call yeah. it peach. No, I swear to God, they called it flesh. Really? And then they, yeah, they upgraded to peach. Because it's like, yo, man. That became, huh. Yeah, that was a huge news Why story. Why is it was, brown flesh? When I was kid, huh? it was, well, when I was kid, it was peach. <laughs> yeah. So I missed yeah. that. I didn't. I always did it with apricot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yeah. It's called a flesh crayon? I was so happy when I figured out. Well, that's call the my, thing. So, call I don't know if I'd Google crayon. that. If you, like, drew a picture of Charlie <laughs> Brown, you would just grab flesh, flesh crayon, right? Oh and then they change it to peach. Oh, God. Yep. And then, if I'm not mistaken, either Crayola or some other crayon company has released, like, the flesh pack. That like, right, covers everybody. everybody. If, you, if you type in flesh crayon, it comes up the 12 peach <laughs> crayons. <laughs> yes. Because they use something. Fresh. Oh, look, world skin tone. Yeah, there you go. See, that's how they got out of this it. This is the PC version. Yes. So all of those. Hey, give myself some flesh crayons. <laughs> that sounds like my penis. I know. That's what I'm hey, saying. you want to see a flesh crayon? Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> flesh crayon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Never heard of that. <laughs> Eric, here's your question. The United Nations headquarters is located in what city? Uh, draw your mustache. Hmm. <laughs> is that in Europe? Now, that would be New York City. New York City. I thought I was in some neutral country like Switzerland. Question five. I mean, technically, do you, while it is located in New York City, it's like the Vatican being located in Italy. It's its own place. Yeah. Technically, it's international. Yeah. But you got to go to New York City. All right, a question. If you have singultus, if you have singultus, what do you have? Is it a rash, hiccups, brain freeze, or a stub toe? Brain freeze. I'll say stub toe. Hiccups. Hiccups. I'll never remember that. Because you don't have it. <laughs> Somebody here says, you know Crayola made that skin color collection of crayons. Yeah, we just looked it up. Mm -hmm. But then they add, bet you Miles doesn't own it. Oh, hell no. Well, <laughs> I it. He was good with peach. Peach is a good thing. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah, that's all it is. The peach crayon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow, man, you, peach you, crayon. No, you want to color with the peach crayon, baby? <laughs> yeah, that's the colors in one. Be great for a dating site. I got the peach crayon. Who wants to color? <laughs> <laughs> and they see you go like, you weren't kidding. It really is the size of a crayon. I just thought it was just the name. But it's darker. And it's just, I thought it's smaller than a crayon, I bet. So you used it. All right, your question. What are the three ingredients that make ants on a log? Ooh. Yes. Come on. Yes. Be celery. One. Peanut butter. Yes. Two. And raisins. That's oh. right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yes, it's something yeah. I never want to eat. Oh, Ted, butter. I know you but, love ants on the log. It's but terrible. What? I, you got to put peanut butter in celery to make celery taste good as a child. No, you can. But then you ruined and <laughs> you carry it by putting raisins on top. You also got to put it in ranch to make it taste good as an adult. Okay? That's why you just don't yes, eat it. Right. Celery, celery yeah. always needs help. You guys yeah. have never eaten celery straight. Come on, man. I did that no, all the time. No. Why? I, I mean, I've eaten pieces of celery, but it's not my favorite. No, it's not. I, I mean, don't... you do it if you got wings, but... The celery's been laying in buffalo sauce or something. It's, it's touched other things that make it taste better. I'm bringing in ants on the log and make you guys eat it. I don't. <laughs> like, not. I would, you know what, to be honest with you, I would love to eat some ants on the log right now. Let's do it. Sounds delicious. Look, okay, peanut butter. Why, pick me why would you put M&Ms on top? With chocolate. But why raisins? Because raisins need help, too. Because they're kid. Like, because generally you eat it when you're a kid, but, like, as an adult, it's not the worst as opposed to, like, other snacks. I forgot they were raisin haters, Ted. I know. Mm -hmm. And celery haters. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just have a spoon. The only good part is the peanut butter. Right, so I'm saying just, just, just eat just, peanut butter. Just a room of hate in here. <laughs> you know what next time I'm going to do? We're going to have two jars. And Mike and I are just going to dip stalks yes. of celery in the yes. in the peanut butter and then dip it in a bag of raisins. <laughs> ah, it sounds terrible. <laughs> it's like a bad drumstick. More of Big Dummy coming up. 206-421-ROCK. 99.9. This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Well, great balls of fire, Bubba. What happened, Bilford? That crazy son of a sow blew right through that four-way stop of Main Street and plowed into my cowboy Cadillac. Your what? My pickup truck. And I'm pretty sure my leg is broken, Ted. 
Oh, quit your bitch, Buford, and talk with those side busters at the Advocates Law Firm. When I got busted up last month, well, shoot, they made sure those snakes at the insurance company played fair. Boy, howdy. Even that creepy so-and-so Kyle earned his keep. So if you get injured, the Advocates get results. AdvocatesLaw.com. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. SW. The men's room returns with Miles and Thrill. Hey, Chef, coming up, Ted's Beef Potato, some uh, pot- uh, popular delivery items, and a trendy liquor. Trendy liquor and the head chef on the way right after emails in the game known as Big Dummy, 206-421-ROCK. I'd watch a movie called Trendy Liquor and the Head Chef. By the way, Ted, you <laughs> asked earlier, uh, <laughs> what's an easy way? <laughs> <laughs> trendy liquor and the head, the chef. head chef. Yeah, She's one and the same. Uh, an easy way to remember the order of the planets. For Correct. Us. Like, what do you call that? An acronym? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, but this is not quite an acronym. But a bunch of people sent this in. I don't know that this makes it easier, but uh, mother very expertly makes jelly sandwiches using no pickles. Mother very expertly, expertly makes jelly, jelly sandwiches, sandwiches using no pickles, and go. Mother. Let me mark here. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Mother makes... Mother very expertly makes Jeez. jelly sandwiches using no pickles. Apparently, this is the oh, easy way. One. Mercury, Venus. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Saturn, Uranus. Neptune. All right. So Mars, Venus, Earth. No, no. Mercury. Start with Mercury. Er, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, mm-hmm. Jupiter. Yes. Jelly sandwiches. Saturn. Bam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Without using or using uh, Uranus, uh-huh. yeah. using no, no, no pic- uh, Neptune, right, right, right. Pluto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't remember that damn saying. I know. I was going to say I don't know that that's easier. But now you know. Game is big. Dummy two zero six four two one. Ron. I was looking more for like the difference between <laughs> desert and dessert <laughs> right. is you want two S's, right? A yeah. second serving. Now, what you got is a mother very expertly makes jelly sandwiches using no pickles. Just remember that, Ted, and you are money. I've heard it that it's twice as sweet. Oh, see, that's a good way to remember. Hello, Anthony. Welcome to the men's room. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Ted just had his mind blown. Anthony, I did it. Sober, yeah. not sober. Sober. Anthony, welcome to Big Dummy. Our men's room poll. We're talking about cooking and methods of. So eliminate one method. Grilling, barbecuing. Fried or deep fried, baked or boiled? I'm gonna have to go with deep fried. Deep fried's out. I guess my issue with the frying, right? Because I think you could throw out deep fried, but like if I'm using a frying pan, that counts, right? I mean, assuming you're frying it, using it for its intended purpose, yeah. yeah. Right. That's where I feel like the frying really comes into play. Yeah. Because like, like we were saying, almost anything you could deep fry, you can bake, you could live without you that. Could. Yeah. But again, I don't get excited about baked French fries. Like you they're don't. fine. And in fact, if you were like, well, they're baked, I'd be like, don't trouble yourself. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> seriously, don't, Jeez, don't, trouble don't, don't do this don't for me. Yourself. That's nice, but somehow sounds mean. I know it sounds mean, but I, but you know what I'm saying? I don't want your baked-ass fries. It's just, it, it, don't trouble yourself. Uh, by the way, Ted, also, my very eager mother just sent us nine pizzas. My very eager mother just, just sent, sent us, us nine pizzas. pizzas. Is that easier to remember? And that's, it's more fun. All right. That, agreed. Agreed. All right, Anthony. Bob's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> meat. <laughs> yeah, Bob's yeah. vagina. Easy meat. Just <laughs> not. No, just. Yeah. Just. So, just. You, just under. Penis? Just see under naked penis. penis. Wow. No, no, no. Yeah, we'll something. come up with something yeah. better. Bob's vagina. <laughs> Mom, start there. <laughs> <laughs> Move on, creative types. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a question. Who played Batman in the movie Batman Forever? Oh, oh, man. I know this guy's name. I can see his face. <sighs> you can't hear him anymore. Uh, it's not coming to me, boys. 
Mm. Is that Val Kilmer? <laughs> Damn, man. What? <laughs> yeah. What do you it's Val see Kilmer. You can hear it. He's Val Kilmer. <laughs> Damn, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, your question. What former friend star reached one million Instagram followers the fastest? Ooh, uh, I'll have to go with Jennifer Aniston. Hey. Gotta be. Okay. Yeah. 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 Gotta be. Yeah. Amos Big Dummy, 206 421 Rush. I always say this. She is so famous. I have to remind myself she was on Friends. I know you do forget. Yeah. And it took everyone else from Friends everything in their power to stop being associated with Friends. And she's had a lot of great roles and been very funny. Sense in movies. Yeah. I'm just like when she shows up, I'm like, all right. It's gonna be I, was like, I did not like her when she was yeah. first getting off of Friends. I think I was just sick of hearing about her hair and sick of hearing about Friends. Nothing to do with her, right? Right, and her and Brad Pitt. Like, right. you, you're all right. this I, stuff. Right. And then I started seeing her movies and I'm laughing my ass off. Like, this chick seems yeah. pretty cool, man. Apparently, I'm the douchebag. But I've heard that a lot. Hey, look, I'm right there with you. I, well, no, you I, are a douchebag. All right. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I hated her for years. I'm like, yeah, she seems cool. <laughs> and she's super hot. Yeah, that goes a long way. Hello, Tristan. Welcome to the men's room. Hola. Hola. Tristan, are you sober or not sober? Sober. All right, welcome to a big dummy, Tristan. Okay, eliminate one method of cooking. Will it be grilling, barbecuing, fried or deep fried, baked or boiled? What are you doing? Uh, I got to get rid of baking. Like others said, uh, you can do anything on a grill that you can do in the oven. So okay. get rid of bacon. All That's right. no, no bread. Yeah, no bread. God, that sucks. Pizza. Cake. All right, here's your question. Who became president after Abraham Lincoln was assassinated? Uh, Grover Cleveland. I don't know if I know this one. Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson, that's right. Drew Johnson. Mm-hmm. He got kicked out of school. On the sidewalk. <laughs> Chalk. I believe it was on this day that he was impeached. Really? Yeah, he yes. was the first one. Mm-hmm. Oh, congratulations. Yay! All right, Paula Abdul, she was the cheerleader for what sports team? It's a little misleading of a question. Uh, what is it? Technically, it's a dance team. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong team. Any guesses? Uh, is that the Dallas Cowboys? Was Los the Angeles Lakers? Lakers. LA Lakers. Right. Yeah. So basketball has dance teams. My bad. Yeah. I'll apologize to Paula Abdul when she gets <laughs> off of her pharmaceutical high. Uh, Ted, here's another way for you to remember the plan. <laughs> All right. My very easy mother jump started Uncle Norm's penis. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that one sounds personal. Whoever yeah. put that in That's there. That's incest. But. But you can remember, my very... That's her brother. No, it, it might be, be her husband's her brother. Her husband's brother. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Close yeah, my very easy mother jump-started Uncle Norm's penis. <laughs> question three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your question. What author wrote Jaws, The Deep, and Orca? Uh, I've got no idea on this one. Yeah, it's fair enough. Bro. Come on, come on, Ted. Right, because I remember when... Peter Gazinia. Benchley. Peter Benchley. All right, your question. Which member of the Beatles was in a band called Rory Storm and the Hurricanes? And as a hint, he was the last Beatle to join the Beatles. <laughs> Rory? <laughs> Thank you. Is that Ringo? That yeah, was Ringo. Yes, it is. Ringo. Why did it take you so long to get in the band there, Mike? Uh, why, why were you uh, dragging along there? I was getting a nose job. What was the guy's <laughs> name? Uh, they didn't do a very good job. Pete Best? Yeah, Pete Best. Pete Best. That was the original. Big Is Best very popular in England as a last name? I don't know. It was like George Best is like a, arguably one of the best like footballers of all time. I mean, it's a great last name to have. It is. Although I like it's Pete Best. Well, you're the one guy who got booted out of What if name? your last name was worst? Well, what if your first I, name's less? So you're less worst. Or you'd be less best. I can live with less best. Like, I'm not the best. I'm slightly less best, but I'm not bad. I think if your last name's worse, you're German. I'm a Buster Best. Buster Best? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Scott. Welcome to the men's room. Hola, gentlemen. Hola. Hola. Scott, sober, not sober. Sober, put me in my car. All right. That feels like a job you do when you're drinking. 
I don't want to do it right. Yeah. Well, okay. all right. You get to eliminate one method of cooking. Will it be grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled? Oh, let's drop the deep fried. Fried, deep fried, gone. Pretty close race on this poll. Ted? <laughs> oh, what is? What are they saying now for that? Oh, no, man, we're, we're trying to help you remember the planets, and people are giving you <laughs> suggestions. This one, Mary's vaginal energy makes John stay up at night. <laughs> All right. That's a winner. That is a winner. All right. Your question, on which Hawaiian island would you find Diamond Head? Oh, in there. That's Oahu. Bye, guys. Cheers, Scott. Yeah, I guess Maui. Mm -hmm. Shows what I know. Yeah. He picked fried, deep fried, right? Correct. Mom's vagina mm -hmm. eats meaty, juicy, ultra nubby, nubby penises. Mm -hmm. Just throw them out there, man. Well, however you can remember it. Whatever works. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the men's room. Hello, Cannon Hookers. Hola. Brian, sober, not sober. I'm sober. So you're alive. I just spent two hours driving home. Yeah. Oh, time where, for drink. Where was your commute from? Everett to Auburn. And oh. it took well, me 69 times to get into Big Dummy. What uh, I made it. What, 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 what would be the average time? From Everett to Auburn? Yeah. At this time of day? Yeah, two hours. Okay. Jeez, I was just yeah. curious. All right, to eliminate one method of cooking, grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled. Where are you going? It's, it's got to be boiled. It's insane that not everyone is saying boiled. Uh, beer is boiled. I don't drink beer. Okay. Oh, well, let me see. Do you drink any I alcohol? I drink everything else. Coffee? I do. Coffee? All right, so all alcohol is boiled. It's the issue. <laughs> There's still Coke. Oh, there you go. And it means cocaine. A cola. Oh, oh Coca-Cola, Coca -Cola. my bad. Cola. Yeah, there's that too. <laughs> That's what I meant. Sure you did. Uh, by the way, somebody here just says, my great-grandfather's name, and this is no joke, was Burley Boner. <laughs> Burley Best. Man, oh man. <laughs> All right, here's your question. How much does it cost to buy a utility in a standard game of Monopoly? Is that 200 That's what I was going to guess. Nope, 150 150 but you don't get anything out of that, do you? No! I mean, it seems like yeah. a good idea at the time, but you never really... You need utility, and then you need, like, the Department of Water and Power or something like that? I don't know. I mean, it just seems like you, you can spend your money elsewhere on the board and do better off as if far you as people get, landing on it. If you get all... Is there two or are there four? I think there's only two. The, oh, the electric company. Like the railroads or something. Like, wouldn't that be yeah. better than the... God, I hate a monopoly. When, I really do. When you get all yeah. of the railroads or all of the utility companies, the payout is fantastic. Okay, See, but you have to get all of them. You got to get all so of them. So you block somebody. If you get one, you just buy the other there utility and get right. it's wash. All right. All right, Brian. Here's your question. Okay. What is the name of the cup used by Christ at the Last Supper? Sippy. <laughs> well, can I give it? Can I give a shout out to you real quick? Sure. Okay, it's my carpool buddy Josh. He helped me call sixty nine times. So if I say you know I did something sixty nine with Josh, it's not as weird as it should be. Okay, that's a shame. Yeah, I know. But it's the Holy Grail. Yeah, well, no, not the sippy cup. Not the sippy cup. Darn. Game is Big Dummy 20642 Rock. We talked about this before. You know, Judas was the Judas, right? Yeah. Do you think he's the one who called the Last Supper? Right? I think to show up, oh. just say, hey, welcome to the Last Supper. And Jesus is like, wait, what's that? Hey, Leo. Oh, no, nothing, man. No, 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 no. It sounded, sounded yeah, like no one else has named their individual meal. It's different if it's a holiday. That's you know, what I'm Easter saying. Dinner. So here's it's Judas like, holiday. ooh, welcome to the Last yeah. Supper. Like, why do you keep calling it that, man? Can you imagine calling calling dinner, like if you go out with a group of friends, something dinner different every time? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Thanos! <laughs> it's just random crap. Like, well, you don't have to call something different every well, time if it's the Last Supper. If it's, what's spookier, though? Because, right, because, like, he knows Judas is going to betray him. So he shows up. He's like, it's the last one, boys. But it's only, but it's your but, Last Supper, not mine. Right. Well, would you still be creeped out if you plan a dinner and somebody think, shows up? What and goes, would be worse? It's the last meal I'm going to eat. But it'd be different. Which be one like, would be worse to you if Judas says, "Hey, welcome to the Last Supper," or if, like, a couple days before that, he says, "Welcome to the Second to Last Supper." Well, See, that would bug it, me. It, more. The difference is, it's just Ted's Last Supper. They didn't call it Jesus's Last Supper. That's what I mean. Well, Jesus the is the one that. But, 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 who do you think is the Last Supper but, for? Yeah, everyone else is. But Jesus is the one that says, "Hey, this is it." 
Right. Like, that dude's going to betray me. Like, you're not going to see me after today. Right. So I'm saying, which is worse? That's word for word. Judas. Right. <laughs> that Judas, dude's going to betray me. I'm on my way back. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, Ezra's about to go down, lighter. guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He stole my lighter. Going to betray guy, me to the Romans. He's the one who's going to kill me. Yeah. It is kind of gangster, though. Like having dinner and be like, yeah, so this is it. Uh, you suck. You're going to betray me. They do it on death row. I got uh, one request. We all sit on the same side of the table tonight. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Just something I want to try. I don't want to look at anybody. <laughs> Just a weird thing I want to do, man. No, we got to paint a picture right there. Smile for Leonardo. Right. <laughs> Hurry he, up with the he's gonna act, for you. He's going to act like he's not there, but we're still getting him a, pl- a plate. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat. <laughs> Hello, Cam. Welcome to the men's room. Liquor and whores. Liquor, Liquor and whores. Cam, are you sober or not sober? Uh, sober, unfortunately. On the way home. That's all right, bro. I hear you. Sitting in that Tacoma Dome crap. Gotcha. All right, eliminate uh, one method of cooking. Will it be grilling, barbecuing, fried, deep fried, baked, or boiled? Unfortunately, it's, it's got to be grilling. It's just what I eat the, la- the least, and I, I drink too much to justify anything else. All right. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I can't even read that one. He's not on there. <laughs> All right. Here's your question. What is the largest island in the Caribbean? That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get it if I can just name an island in the Caribbean? No. Oh, unless the you name the right one. Pass. Can't pass. No pass. You got to name an Just island. Just name an island in the Caribbean. Guatemala. Guatemala. Uh, yes. The island uh, Guatemala. Espan- Espanol. Espanol. Hispaniola. Hispaniola. No. No. Ooh. Cuba. 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 Oh. It's mm-hmm. a big one. All right. What name is shared by the United States' first naval hero and a member of Led Zeppelin? Rick. <laughs> I guess Rick. Nickname of a Zeppelin or first name? The whole name. The Jimmy whole Page? Name. John Paul Jones. Oh, oh that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gross. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All fair, Ted. I'll read you some more suggestions on how to remember the planets. Take a look at that one. That's gross. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> All right. We'll read these, uh, by the way, coming up for uh, the men's room app. Yeah. yeah. Right. We'll see. Can we save some of those, Mike? Can you copy and paste them? Put a shirt on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, put a shirt on. <laughs> All right. Here's your question. With the exception <laughs> of the power. thumb, how many bones are in each finger? <laughs> Three. There you go. Nice work, nice work. Actually, I had no idea. Want to do well, one more? Let's one go. more? Right, big dummies game. Hey, Hello, Michael. Dummies. Welcome to the men's room. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hola. Hola. Michael, you sober or not sober? Uh, 34 years sober and counting. Good for you, man. Nice work, bro. How old are you? Yeah. I am uh, 61. What was the last Dad? drink? What was the last drink you had? Uh, tequila. Was that why it was the last drink you had? No, it was actually the other drugs that were the problem, but alcohol is a drug, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, you got to eliminate uh, one method of I've cooking. I've met many of people who can't drink anymore. Is it uh, makes them break out in cocaine? <laughs> yeah, or they break out in handcuffs. That's the my, that's, that's the my one. Problem. Break out in handcuffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I would have to get rid of the deep fried. Fried, deep fried. Okay, I'd switch my mind again. Maybe I'm getting rid of fried. I know this is a tough one, man. It is. You keep thinking of things like, ooh, I don't know if I want to give up that food. All right, here's your question: What is the name of the dog and how the Grinch stole Christmas? Hmm. Oh, God! I was bragging. I was going to get the, this thing on the first right answer. I, I don't know, Rufus. No. Mike, it's my man, Max. 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 Ah. That son of a bitch did you dirty, Michael. <laughs> All right. Here's a question: What is the top number of a fraction called? Uh, the numerator. The numerator. The other is the dominator. Dominator. Uh, the new pizza. Denominator. Pizza. Denominator. It, it can't be the dominator. It's on bottom. The dominator. Well, no, no. That's how he likes it. <laughs> All right. You get on top. Potatoes. What do you got? You got, you got popular delivery items and uh, trendy liquors. That was coming up there, Jeff. Uh, correct. Correct. Good old trendy liquor. We'll be right back. 
This podcast is brought to you by the Washington State Department of Health. As we continue to listen, learn, and grow, we are amplifying black voices and perspectives in an effort to start a new COVID-19 vaccine conversation. We're sharing stories intended to help us navigate this unprecedented time together and to co-create solutions in support of the black community. Hear these stories at WeConsiderWA.org. Realtors abide by a code of ethics. This is Article 9 in action. Beth, a first-time homebuyer, knew nothing about the home buying process, except that she wanted to buy a home. But her Realtor had the expertise to make sure Beth understood every document, even giving her copies to review with her lawyer so Beth could close on her first home with confidence. Complicated things explained in simple terms. The difference between an agent and a Realtor is real. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. That's who we are. 20 million dollars, 19 million dollars, 6 million dollars. These are all awards recovered for clients of Phillips Law Firm. To win big, you have to fight big. And Phillips Law has been fighting the too big to fail insurance industry for decades. Not every case will have a multi-million dollar outcome, but Phillips Law will fight just as hard to recover the outcome you deserve. If you or a loved one has been injured in a car accident or on the job, call or click today at 1-800-JUSTICE or visit justiceforyou.com.